Okay, this is the disconnect at lift number one, and the pro. Oh, this is lift number two, and the problem was here is our path of travel, and they said this, this impedes into the path of travel. Kind of ridiculous if you ask me, but regardless. So basically, we made a suggestion. We made a suggestion to put a fusible disconnect inside of here because it's going to be concealed. You can see the dimensions. It was answered that the fusible disconnect was okay. And then what happened is the elevator guys said that this would not be per code. So the next thing was came back is that we have to provide a fusible disconnect that can still be put in here and this actually gets encased with a stainless steel surface. Now we suggested to keep this here and just put a wing guard but that seems to continually get rejected so we need a solution here. So you see the depth here for this and then Lee what is the depth of this thing? It's about well, almost three, two and a half, three inches, somewhere in there. So that's lift number two. Yeah. There you go. All right, lift number. Okay, the other option on lift number two is to move the lift, move the disconnect to the other side. And the elevator, guys, it's not a removable panel in the back, so it wouldn't seem to be a problem. We could just move it to the other side. That could be another option to discuss this. Either that or a wing guard I think would be easier than changing out the disconnect and moving it inside there.